Tis once again the holiday season, the most joyous time of year. But for a wishfish, tis also the busiest, most stressful time of year. You see, Harold Fish spends countless hours granting wishes for sick and dying children all over the world. Now I'll get all the boys. Every night he comes home exhausted to his pregnant whore wife and her bastard lover, the boss of Wishing Well Inc., Master Mallard. Sharing a home with Master Mallard and his son Bill is anything but convenient and more along the lines of disgusting. Every night the little fish gazes up at the stars but with one holiday wish to lead a normal life once again. Christ, what a day. I can't wait to crack open a beer and put on some Paramore music videos. What in the name of Queen Latifah's bulbous black tits is going on here? Where the fuck is my chair? Oh, we got rid of that old thing and replaced it with these thrones we found at Ikea. Aren't they fabulous? What? No! No, they're not fabulous! They're tacky as hell! Quack. You take that back, Mallard. Don't you ever talk about my chair. Oh, calm down, Harold. We've had that garbage chair for years. It was time for a change. A change? You mean my boss buying our house and knocking you up wasn't enough? If Master Mallard hadn't stepped in, we'd still be homeless. Show a little gratitude. Gratitude? What, wait, wait what the fuck did he do to my Haley Williams autograph? Oh, that's poop written in poop. You defiled Haley, you son of a bitch! Wrong! <laughs> now I know we're all a little heated tonight, but let's try to get a good night's sleep and start over in the morning. Good night, boys. Good night, Helen. Gwak! What the fuck do you little dick bats think you're doing? We both had dinosaur dreams. Can we sleep with you guys? No way! We're cramped enough. Get the fuck out! Oh, please, 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 please. All right, boys, but just for tonight. Oh, boy, a slumber party. Well, if I wake up with AIDS and a sore asshole, we know who to blame. Go to sleep, dear. Meh, stupid fucking family. What? What's that smell? Mallard, did you shit the bed again? Mm, quack. God damn it, every fucking night. Calm down, Harold. One little turd isn't going to hurt. Little, have you seen this guy's poop? It's like he swallowed a tree stump. Go to sleep. We'll eat it in the morning. What? Clean it. We'll clean it in the morning. <coughs> oh, God damn it! That's it. I'm burning this house to the ground with all of you in it. Harold, would you just... Oh, I'll get some wet ones. God, I know we don't talk much anymore, but please, please, please give my wife the saddest, sloppiest miscarriage this world has ever seen. And if you can find the time, give Mallard cancer. You can even choose which kind, I'm not picky. Whatever it takes to make life normal again. Amen. Whitey, Milford, how'd you get into my house? We are the ghosts of Christmas past. That being said, we crawled through the window. You really should look into home security. How can you be ghosts? You're not even dead. Well, fine, if you want to take all the fun out of it. We were going through your garbage looking for tin cans, and we heard your pathetic little prayer. Wishing for a miscarriage? Not cool, man. We're here to set you straight, Harold, by showing you old, old movies. I thought we bailed on the ghost thing. That's right, we did. My mistake. Just watch, Harold. 
Oh, hey, that's me. We're trying to watch a movie. Ho, ho, fuck it all. I'm Chris Kringle, and I got tangles in my jingles. Oh, Junior is coming, dear. Try to act sober. Act sober? I ain't gotta act so sober as a hooker in church. Santa, Santa! I've got an erection. And I wanted a baby doll for Christmas. Baby doll? No bastard son of mine's getting a baby doll for Christmas. Ah! Damn it, Harold, he just wanted a baby doll. Yeah, it starts with a baby doll. Then he dolls up and puts a baby in some dude's asshole. Our son's not going to turn gay because of a baby doll. Ooh. Lift off that skirty, my fingers are dry. Now do you see what we're seeing, Harold? Yeah, I see that chair and I miss the fuck out of it. Not the chair, goddammit, Harold. He's not getting it. How can I get it? Helen threw it out. You're on your own, pal. Yeah, we have late night feed I to abort down at the clinic. The teenies don't like pooping them out in the daytime, shame. We call them vampires. Like vampires, but they're whores. They're whores. He gets the joke, Melford. You know I hate when you cut me off. Sorry, sorry. What the dick? Now what? What do you dick schwetz want now? Alright, you caught me gay-handed. Busted like a nut in a cracker's mouth. Ugh, Christ, queer cat. What are you doing in my kitchen at 1 a.m.? Searching for things to stick in my butt. Makes sense. I also bumped into a goat and mouth on the way over here. They wanted me to set you straight, mister. Mm. Set me straight? You aren't quite the person to do that. I'll quit it, you homophobe. Guess I'll use this turkey baster to suck my cum out of your ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stand down while I go get my gun. I don't think you want to go up in that bedroom, Jizz Queen. What? Why not? See? I told you you wouldn't want to look. And what exactly am I seeing? It's a fuck. It's a duck fuck. Oh! Oh, Jesus! Oh, great! We can use that as lube. Let's join in. What? No! No, 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 no! You did this, Harold! You did this! Can I still use your puke as lube? That means yes. What did I do? How did I do this? Has all this hate really just caused me to witness a duck fuck? Hero. Ah! Down here, dick lips. Yum, 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 Oh, damn it, Wharton. You gave me an scared boner. What are you doing in the graveyard so late? Fucking the dead bodies. Makes sense. We were just wondering if you wanted to join. Join? Join what? Podcast Hero. No! Oh! Oh god! Oh, it was a dream. It was only a dream. There's still time. There's still time to make changes! Changes? Huh, I wonder what that was all about. Honey, I'm home! Junior, I'm home! Everybody, I'm home! What's going on? Why are you just standing there? I, I have presents. That doesn't bring back the baby, Harold. <laughs> that doesn't bring back the baby. What? <laughs> Mom had a miscarriage. Oh, yeah. Well, I bought you a new Betty Crocker cookbook. Really, Harold? A cookbook? Yeah. Oh, Harold, it's what I always wanted. Really? Yes. You're not upset about the baby? Oh, goodness, no. I can always poop out another one. And Junior, just wait till you see what I have for you. <gasps> My very own baby doll. Damn straight. Oh, I mean, damn gay. <laughs> I'm so gay. I'm 
I'm so gay! Oh, Harold, I got a little something for you, too! My recliner! Where'd you find it? In my pussy! Ew! It's the best gift I've ever gotten! This is such a wonderful family moment! It truly is, Helen! But where's Mallard? Oh, you didn't hear? He died of cancer! Really? I don't know, I'm only assuming! This is the bestest Christmas ever! No, you guys are the bestest family ever, son! I've seen the light, and I promise things are going to be different from now on! What's that smell? <coughs>